Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a speech recognition using Zillero. Okay, so this is a another speech recognition library for Python. And today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. So basically, this is another model, as you can see, and there's support for some languages. I'm gonna be testing this. Unfortunately, there's not much documentation how to use other models, but I'm gonna show you guys how to use this using the microphone. Okay, so let's go ahead and type the code i'm gonna import first we're gonna import um torch as always we're gonna be import uh, importing pydub we're gonna need pydub to let me go ahead and from pydub import audio segment we're gonna start here with device it's going to be equals torch dot device we're gonna be using the cpu just because it's it has better support and now we're gonna create here uh some objects i'm gonna create the model there's a decoder and that is a utils objects that are returned from the load model function so i'm going to use a pytorch hub again torch hub dot load the name of the model which is ripple or dir is going to be uh snakers snakers for because for slash cleto models so i'm gonna add here the model name which is cleto stt the language the language is going to be uh language is going to be english and device is going to be equals device so one quick note here is that i could use three models which are the english the spanish and the german one but you guys could try to see if you guys can use some of these okay so this is basically what we need we're going to import a speech recognition speech recognition which is a library that we've shown here on the channel just to do avd so automatic automatic voice voice detection so we're gonna r is going to be equals sr sr dot recognizer recognizer we're gonna put this into a loop sr dot microphone sample rate we're gonna define the sample rate to 16,000 as mic we're gonna adjust to the environment noise adjust for ambient noise and we're gonna pass microphone and we're gonna print start start speaking so we can now we can know how to start speaking so all of this is going to be inside a wire true state so now we're going to capture the audio which is going to be audio equals r dot listen mic we add a new lines here we're going to have to convert this to a bytes io object so audio equals io we're going to import io here bytes bytes io bytes bytes io audio dot get wave get wave data now we're going to convert this again to an audio segment from file audio now we're going to convert this to an x variable which is going to be our input tensor so torch torch dot float tensor float tensor audio dot get array get array of samples we're going to need to reshade this to a one comma minus one so this is the wave form shape basically we're going to convert this to the device that we're using x dot to device and the output is going to be z i'm going to do model x and we're going to print u set u decoder z zero is batch one so this is basically all the code get the audio convert to batch io convert to a audio segment convert to tensor copy to device run to the inference and decode the, the the output so this is basically all we need to do let's run now and we should see that hmm, we are getting an error i think i don't have the right app might be right see later stt okay this one snakers for let's see the specify model could not, could not be found maybe i've made a mistake here Oh, I think we need to import torch audio. Yeah. Import torch audio. The specified module could not be found. Oh, torch audio. Why not? Mm, this is this is interesting. We are getting error trying to import torch lib. Let me s install here. Pip install torch audio. Let me see if I can get that to work. Maybe I've I've installed um torch audio before i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna see this now so this is another library that i forgot you guys to mention to ins install so basically we need torch audio to be able to do the pre-processing i think 
into the spectrogram conversion. So basically the model takes a wave and converts that to a spectrogram or using a fast figure transform and then do the computation. So we need torch audio to do that. It's going to take a while and we're going to see if that's actually solved the issue of this um, script. But overall, the code is pretty straightforward. I think this is a good library, although I seem some complaining about the license, which I don't think is totally open source. So you guys can search later for that. And let's see if it's going to work now. I hope so. It's getting a little slow now. Okay, let's see if we were we were able to install that. Let's try to run again. The specified module could not be found. Import torch audio. Yeah, let me. Yeah, we're not able to import that. Unfortunately, let me see if I can solve that. Import torch audio here. I'm gonna try to debug this. Do we need to have Visual Studio? Let me go to PyPy to see torch audio uh windows it is this one i'm gonna go with ctrl j i'm gonna go with cmd and pip install the path either way i'm gonna go to pytorch and install all of the packages that it requires pytorch pytorch i'm gonna have to reinstall pytorch to see if it's going to work stable i mean let's try again okay now it's working and you guys can see the output. Let me change this. Okay. Now it's working pretty well. Nice. Nice. Hello there. This is speech recognition working well. Okay, so as you, so you guys can see, it's working. I just needed to install Py, uh, Torch Audio, which I, for some reason, didn't have installed. And I was able to fix that quite um, easily this time fortunately so if you guys like this video don't forget to hit like button and subscribe and see you guys in the next one